Hi there, I'm Faris and welcome back to another one of my tutorials. Uh, this week we're going to be building this sort of barracks. Which is really cool. So, seems to be getting... That's given me a couple of effects, but oh well. So yeah, we're going to build this barracks. Uh, this one is actually a guild house, which is why I'm building a barracks over here. And to start with, you want to make... Each of these are actually six part. So there's one, two, two sections there. One section here, and yeah, five. There's five log pillars um, along here. Six in between each of the log pillars. No matter where you go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six between each log pillar. Uh, so that should be quite easy to set up. And then in each of the sections, you want to put cobblestone. So three log pillars, two log pillars. Uh, four log pillars and five log pillars, each with an iron block in the centre. You then want to place one more on top of these ones. Uh, not those ones. These are the wings of the um, structure. So if we just place. You may be able to hear my. You may be able to hear my family shouting in the background. <laughs> As you can see, just placing. That's very, very interesting. If you can hear that on the on the recording, just ignore it. <laughs> it's quite funny listening to them, but you know. So you put place on these three. You place one block. For these, you go one in and one up. This one you go one up, and this one you go or well, one out and one up. This one you go one in, one up, and then you put two more on top of them. So you've got kind of that structure about to go on, and then what you can do is fill all these walls up to the second post with. Um, uh, stone bricks, you can see Eric's kind of just over there in his troll suit. Uh, and then also fill these ones with wooden logs. So, because these will automatically, these are ones are just going to have a roof on the two wings, and that one's going to be higher up, as you can see there. Uh, so, if I go around and fill up all these walls and get not with those bricks though, proper bricks, and then I'll get back to you in a second. So as you can see, um, we're now filled in the walls all around uh, and put the logs on. But as you can see over here, um, because like they kind of stick out a bit here, this one actually has to be moved forward and then have a log here, and then you go two more up, and it's the same on the other side because um, obviously this bit's going to be higher than the other part. Whoa! Oh, I'm losing control! <laughs> that happens every so often. So if we stack three more logs on top of here, we should be fine. You can see little, little old Eric watching there. Um, who are actually trapped last time. Uh, you then want to get your stone slabs um, and place them all along the bottom row of the inner pillars. Pillars? 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 What the hell is a pillar? Someone Google it for me and comment. And then for the rooftops of the wings, we grab uh, wooden planks. Go first lot over there. We also want some slabs, which I forgot to grab. Place them all along there. And grab our stairs. See, I kind of rapidly click, so I do tend to make mistakes. Uh, obviously we would fill this part in with um, 
quartz because wool, uh, as I found out, catches fire quite easily. Obviously, place it along here as well. clicking doesn't seem to work a lot of the time. Time set zero. Let's see. And obviously we do it that side as well. Taking it one more out. And then we'll, instead of the next row just being like that, we take our blocks, scatter them across here with stair on the end just to kind of make it look curved. going to be a bit bulkier than most of the other roofs, 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 roof, rough, ruffles, most of the other ruffles I've designed. So there. And then to neaten it up so things don't look like they're floating, where did I just place that? There, look. Place stairs along there, stairs along there, this along there and stairs there. Uh, then same on the other side. And obviously we would draw this all the way back um, to the back wooden pillars. I'm not sure if you can hear my nephew in the background, but he's shout he's trying to shout. Doesn't really help him. And obviously we also grab our quartz gain and fill up that bit. I mean uh, just just quartz there looks a bit um boring. So what we then do is grab our wooden logs and You can hear my nephew in the background just chuckle because it's bloody hilarious to listen to. As you say, I got two different designs. You could either do that one or you could. I just got rid of something which I could have just used. Or you could use that. It depends on which one you prefer. I do kind of prefer that one. The reason I did the other one is because I don't know. I, I, I'm having to refer back to it because um, my designs change a bit. So yeah, uh, we would take these all the way back up to kind of here, which is just just before that pillar. So yeah, and we do that on both both wings until we've got like kind of well yeah two wings. So I will do that, and okay, you will do so that. for the next part of this build, we want to grab some stuff which I did not grab earlier. Uh, oh yes, as you may have noticed, I've now put the a stone brick slab double around the rim of the lot, the main part of it. The the second floor part. And now I'm just placing chiselled stone, chiselled, chiselled, chisonian. Uh, I guess we could get rid of these parts because kind of this area would be filled with wood, like to make a second floor. 
Uh, but this part wouldn't, because this you'd be able to see the roof and stuff. Which is kind of a nice effect, actually. Okay, you then want to grab your wood and put it all across these areas. I wouldn't be surprised if in a second you see like a save from the previous video. So I do them in different sections, edit, and then carry on with the tutorial. Pretty sure I'm not walking over anything. Oh no, Eric's there. Oh, I see. So yeah, just shoving pillars on all of these. As you notice, these kind of go down to from six across to five, which is good, I guess. As Eric's just making a pathway, which is okay, I guess, but you know. Then we want to get our quartz stone. After, okay, I'm gonna wait until the rain stops after, it. and then. Okay, so we want that. We then want to get our quartz stone and fill in all these kind of areas here with um, quartz. Uh, which is quite boring. You know, it's gonna be done. We will like add details to this afterwards. You know, it's, it's like quite easy just to. Quickly add the quartz and then add detail. Uh, we can also add quartz here. And if you want, you can add a pillar going across here, or you could add a uh, stone brick, stone slab, sorry, which is. Thank you. Which is this one. As you see, I just gave you the command uh, to spawn in double block, uh, double slabs for. Which makes it kind of. It's a lot easier to spawn it in than to do like single slabs all the way. So there we go. We got our kind of uh, quartz walling. Put in. Uh, there's a random block. I think it's probably where I missed. We can then grab wood and fill in this area with wood from the stone level. So I will do that in a second once I kind of show you the start of a roof. Actually, I'll just show you how to do the roof now. <laughs> What you want to do, it's very bloody windy outside. I wonder I'm lagging a bit. Uh, what you want to do with the roof is put, um, like you did with this one, you do wood, then wooden plank, wooden uh, da -da 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 -da, half slabs, or slabs. They're not actually called half, half slabs, are they? They're just called slabs. So yeah. But wooden slabs all across there, and. Same with this side, just do just be rapid click moment. My British war cry. As I said, speed clicking is not my forte. I'm happy I um, got up to 25 subscribers. That's quite an achievement for me. It's now going to be me doing a bit of talking whilst I'm trying to fill in this bit. Because these rooftops, as you can see, are kind of attached, um, with these stairs, you can put kind of a corner stair there. And then obviously carry this on, this on along. Then you, you know, 
same to the other side with the stairs, except, you know, no, there's no gap. Because this is my usual des design for a roof now, these would stick out. Um, and you would do what you did with them. Put stairs underneath. And obviously there will be another layer of stairs. But when you reached kind of that point where the um, blocks would end up getting to, you would move that across some more. And then when you get onto the stair, the wooden block bits, the stairs would just lead into it like that. If you wanted, you could put a stair like that. Uh, if it worked for me. Okay, you couldn't put a stair like that because it hates me. And then obviously the roof. Uh. Ooh. And then the f next part of the roof. Obviously you would do this both sides. I'm just trying to do a quick demonstration and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. If you ever wonder why it's like the buildings look like. If you ever come onto the server and see like a load of random buildings like which are copied and repeated everywhere. I'm about to sneeze so I'm trying to stop myself from sneezing. It's not working. As you can see over there, I've got like little stubby bits on the ends. I've really got to sneeze, but I don't want to. Resist! Resist! Oh, yeah, okay, I might have stopped myself. So yeah, because this is an odd number, you can set up the um, kind of one block um, area here with a slab on top and the stair. Uh, whereas on this one it was an even number between them, so there was just two stairs. But yet yeah, you'd do that all the way around either side, blah blah blah, with stairs. Uh, I forgot, but did I get that perfectly spot on there? Nope. <laughs> so yeah, you'd do that. Uh, you wouldn't put them actually in stairs in the centre row, you'd get slabs and do that. It's just because I've not put the other side down I got kind of distracted. So you get a nice kind of uh, double way and obviously in there the there would be wood. Not past this row though, you would obviously block that bit off as well. So I'll, I'll do that. And okay, as you can see, I've done that now. Uh, done the roof. Uh, and everything seems fine and dandy. So now what we're going to do is just make sure this is kind of filled in. I haven't got any kind of wooden planks on me. Unless I do. Yeah, I do. I can swap them out. Just because as you see, there's these little gaps. You don't really want little gaps, do you? So just fill them in like that. And then get your quartz and obviously fill this in. Uh, there we go. Obviously, I'm in complete darkness now. I am that awesome. If you're wondering why I get kind of those black splodges, it's because my um, to get the maximum frame rate on my computer, I have to have everything as low as possible. I see my brightness, which I have like on like full brightness. It's just mental, mental, mental. Proper northern there. I just, just sorry. I'm kind of flying around checking that I've done everything. Obviously, I haven't. So, 
yeah, that's that bit sorted. Now for these sort of areas to add more detail, we remove these quartz blocks and add in that. And from here we can add like this sort of design. You know, just gives it an authentic look about it. I think the sun's going down. So just is that seven across? Two, four, six, seven. Yeah. Just set the time because I hate it when it gets dark on this game because it means I can't do anything because I can't see. So yeah. All right. Just adding. It's the same dark design all around for the six blocks. And on five and stuff, it's a bit different. Five and seven, it's different. So yeah, that around the back there. Uh, up there. So yeah, there we go. And we can also place one there and also some there. So yeah, that's kind of the main bulk of it. That's the roo roofs and everything done. As you can see, Eric has come along and placed blocks. Not really happy about that, but you know, whatever floats your goat. And they're not even, look, he's... Sorry Eric, I know you're trying to help, but some areas I'd prefer to do it alone. So the next part we actually want to do is kind of this here. I'm actually flying over to check what the design is like. Um, see, not got them it memorised off by heart. So that's five difference between the things. So we place one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and is that three high or four high for the thing? As you said, this is the part which I didn't really memorize. I've memorized all of this except this part, because it's not usually what I do. So it's three, yeah, so four high, uh, except for the, that one over there. The like one against the wall, which is actually four, uh, three high. So. Oh, Lord, how do gun? Sorry. And honestly, leave a gap. Please scan. We don't need them. So that's like that, and then we can place these long. I don't know why it double clicks. I will click it once and it will like place 20 blocks. But yeah, that's kind of that part. And then we want to get, if we get some fenceyers. Uh, we can, did I? All right, right, okay. Seriously, no, this bit is kind of the bit I didn't really think I would actually do in the tutorial, but I am doing it because it kind of gives a nice effect. Uh, so. <sighs> Screw you, Rain! Let's see. As you can hear, 
It is very wet and rainy in the swamp area. <laughs> oh, stupid weather controls. It, it, this, this part, it really depends on what you like to do. As you can see, I'm kind of changing it as, a, as I do it now. I don't know why, it's just on that way. some blocks all along here kind of give it like like what we got on the wall uh, over there see well actually you can't see because it's behind a building it's behind the original and you place stairs there and 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 well look double clicked again and now as you can see <laughs> The fun part, placing stairs all around here, uh, which I really can't be bothered to do, but I'm going to have to do it anyway. Speed clicking. I have... Whilst I've been building, I have known people to get like just. It's like I was in Skype chat with um, Killer Builder, and whilst it, we were building stuff, and I just suddenly raced past building shit, and he just goes, "Wow, that was fast!" Hi, <laughs> like, yeah. As you can see, we've also got an, a, a, a new system installed uh, for currency. I bet some people were actually kind of looking at the side and going, what's that, what's that all about coins? Well, basically we've set up some new shops where, um, I say we, Killer Builder actually worked it out and he got a, he's getting a rank up whenever we do a ceremony about it. Also, you want to be doing steps. Inside. As you see, not really. I'm not really being careful. So. I'm just rapidly clicking and placing. Uh, so if we put a door here as well. You can pl place the door wherever you you're pleased with this build. It's just that's what I've got at the moment for a setup. I'm trying to add the little details which kind of make it look really good. Um, and once this is actually finished, it should look splendid. If my nephew doesn't walk in, wait for it. Be able to hear him lean against the door. So yeah, that's more or less it. The rest of the details are really up to you. Um, I will just show you what I've kind of put in uh, the Warriors Guild version. Actually, the doors are a bit smaller. It's just because because I preferred them like that. Oh, there's another detail you could really add because I think I should actually add it to here. Because um, this is just one of those details I quite like to put in. As if the roof is actually being held up by something and not just thin air. I do like the, this design. Because um, I've seen Madness 64 in his barracks. I didn't, I didn't really like it. Honestly, I know he's like an awesome builder and everything, but it's just his design I didn't really like. But yeah, this is more or less it. This is all you really need to do. I'm now just kind of editing what... Why did it just do that? There we go. Um, and obviously you could place different things in different, differently. Uh, you could put in some warrior stands and stuff. Uh, you could, obviously you're going to need to light up the place. Like... Uh, to quote Tropic Thunder, the fourth, the fourth, the fourth of fucking July. 
which I don't actually understand. It is name Independence Day or something. So yeah, that is more or less done. You could add these in, which is actually using lapis lazuli blocks, just because there was no use for them. You could add in this design for a weapon stand. You know, weapon stands, chests. You could add a wall, and then shove a, um, a load of beds and chests. Chests. Chest. Chest there. You could add a ta table, little kitchen. It's all really down to you after this, because obviously you don't want to copy my design exactly because there might be bits you want to change and I really hope you do want to change some bits because you know my design shouldn't be final the ups try your own she's new she's the new but yeah uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, I'm not gonna fly over here because I've got something to show you uh, ignore all this stuff this stuff is actually quite cool that's even cooler who have a uh, long run if you made that and you're watching this I bloody respect to that but yeah what I want to show you is these two buildings here uh, it's two different house designs I was planning on doing a, a house for a tutorial but I'm not sure which one to do because they are different this one does a sideways roof and this one does a long ways and shit they're both different well, I don't know which one to do, so please leave a comment um, or a like or whatever, and also tell me which one I you think I should do, long or wide. Just put long or wide. Just gonna sound strange, but yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and leave leave a comment as well. Hope you enjoyed. Make chaos guide you.